Hey darlings, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Kagam. Okay, so in today's video, we're going to talk about Gucci. We're going to talk about Dior. But before we do all of that, I have a few things I want to talk to you guys about. I want to talk to you guys about my holiday. I also have a channel update, but that will be at the end of the video. So make sure you watch all the way till the end, guys. Um, but first of all, let me just say thank you to everyone who's been supporting my channel recently. I am deeply honored, honestly. Um, um, there's so many of you who are showing me so much love and support um, through your comments and just like you know you know like commenting and liking my videos and subscribing I truly appreciate it now <laughs> okay for those of you who I follow on Instagram I follow a bunch of you on Instagram style for life Amaya links um, my lady Ash I also follow a new subscriber but you're private you don't want me to share your name I respect your privacy um, but it was really cool to connect with you on Instagram DM and like I've been posting a lot of stories from my Zanzibar trip. So just super quick, we stayed at this like super high-end luxury hotel called the Park Hyatt Zanzibar. It's part of the Hyatt family of hotels. Um, I, honestly, I've like heard about it before and I was just kind of like, okay, whatever. Ah, big mistake. It's absolutely fire okay i'm not being biased because i'm tanzanian like zanzibar is an archipelago of islands i'm from the mainland my parents are from the west of tanzania like by lake victoria like like our tribe has more things in common with rwanda and uganda than zanzibar per se but it was just amazing we stayed in the presidential suite I i'm telling you now i will never regret this decision of going to this hotel it was absolutely phenomenal Five, it had, it's a five-star hotel, super, super luxurious. We paid for the whole thing ourselves. It's not sponsored, promise. Absolutely recommend, and I, I absolutely recommend you guys go there. Seriously, it was amazing. Anyway, so went there. So something weird happened, like, on the way to um, Zanzibar, but we stopped through by, like, my husband's region because we had some wedding stuff we were attending to there for my brother-in-law's wedding. And so we're at the check-in, right, from Dar es Salaam, going to Kilimanjaro. And then this woman comes over and she, like, whispers at me. She's like, I need to speak to you. I'm like okay and in tanzania when someone who's like significantly older than you is like approaches you you need to say this word basically called shkamo shkamo is like a very like respectful way of saying hello to someone who's older than you so first when she came over and she started talking to me i was like shkamo and then she responded saying marhaba which means like that they're responding to your greeting basically like hello oh hi i'm fine and then she's like, I need to speak to you, don't move. So I was like, okay, whatever, right? And then she then comes back as my husband takes my um, my ID to check us in for the flight. And then she's like, you're dressed really inappropriately. I kid you not, I was wearing joggers, okay? And I was wearing um, like a sweatshirt jumper thing. And I swear, I'm not even kidding, guys. I, It was like a long sleeve jumper, a sweatshirt. It was very baggy. There was like this much skin between the end of my <laughs> sweatshirt and the beginning of my tracky bums. She was completely just overreacting. And she like tried to check me. And I'm like, uh... Let me stop you right there. Like, you're trying to check me and I am dressed appropriately for traveling. I'm dressed appropriately for my culture. I know how to dress me here. You can't check me. And the whole time she's like whispering at me, trying to check me. And then my husband like turns around and he's like, what's going on here? And he comes over, he's like, what's the meaning of this? And I think like her seeing that I was married and my husband was with me, she kind of was like a bit embarrassed. And then she was like, and then, no, then I was like, there's nothing going on here. Like we're done here. Okay, because I was done with her. And then she just like walked off and I walked off. And then we're like walking to the fly. My husband's like, yo, she like, bro, like she tried to check you right now. And I was like, and she was, he was like, why? Why was she trying to check you? And I was like, I don't know what her problem was. Okay, I don't have any beef with her. But she didn't like how I was dressed. He's like, but you're dressed fine. I was like, I know. Uh, anyway, whatever. That happens a lot here. Wouldn't happen to you if you're like a foreigner visiting Tanzania, but it happens to like um, people here a lot and women here a lot. And even if you're dressed like appropriately, and I know how to dress for here, like, and it's weird because Tanzania is not like, Tanzania is conservative, but it's not like aggressively conservative. There is like a live and let live attitude that people have here. So I was like, 
this someone tried to check me and I am dressed completely appropriately. Like I, my arms were fully covered. Like I was, the sweatshirt was like here, honey. You couldn't see like my chest, everything, no elbows, no knees, nothing. You trying to check me because you can see a slither of skin between like the end of my jumper. Girl, bye. I was like, goodbye. So I'm proud of myself for kind of keeping my cool and not flipping out. And FYI, my mom is like 70. And this woman maybe was like 68 or something like that. Um, she looked like she was in my mom's age range. And I've been dressed like that around my mom and my mom says it's fine. So you're not gonna check me basically if the woman who gave life to me won't check me about it. So you can leave. So I'm glad that like my husband was around cause she was really trying to go in on me. And I was like, whatever. Anywho, enough about that. I just wanted to let you guys know cause I thought that was like a funny story to share. Oh my gosh, you guys. Okay, so I have been hard on Gucci recently. I feel like I've been really tough on Gucci. Um, so I've been thinking about Gucci recently. I'm like, maybe I should give them a chance. They do have some really well-priced items. Let me give them a chance. So anyway, I then was like, okay, let me go on the website. Let me see what's new. And then I went on Instagram because I was like, just look at the stories that I posted from today when we were leaving Zanzibar. And then in the explore page, there were these gorgeous Gucci crystal earrings. They were so pretty. I sent them to my cousin. I was like, oh my God, these are stunning. And she was like, I know, obsessed. And then they're on the Gucci website. I'll link them in the description below. They're 285 pounds. They are, it's like a, it's like a, it's like a metal, they're metal, obviously it's costume jewelry and they're crystals, but it's like a gold brushed um, metal. So obviously they're kind of mimicking how gold looks, but it's obviously not gold. Um, they're so, so cute. I love them. I think they're really cute. I also love their pricing. They're just 285 pounds. That seems quite fair to me. Um, yeah, and then the next one that I saw with these like much larger crystal earrings from Gucci. They're like much bigger. They're quite big, like on the model. They go like that. Very pretty. They're 610 pounds. I also saw these um, sunglasses, super, super gorgeous. They're, they're more than 200 pounds. They're like about, they're like in the 200 to 300, to 300 pound range. I think Gucci do the best sunglasses if you like 70s style. I personally like the 70s and the 50s when it comes to sunglasses. That's just my personal preference. I love a cat's eye sunglass shape. It's just my personal preference. And I love 70s, like with the gradient, with the lens and the square. Oh, love it. Um, I think Gucci do the best 70s style shades. There's some beautiful ones on the site. And I was like, oh my goodness, I have got to tell you guys about them in case you're interested. They're also well-priced and affordable, which is something that I love. Um, so I thought I'd share that with you. You know, I need to, I need to give Gucci, I need to take it down a notch when it comes to Gucci. There's some beautiful pieces there that are absolutely 100% buy. I also, I'm happy that Gucci have two boutiques in South Africa. So, you know, as you, many of you know, I live in Africa and I, in 2021, I want to make more of an effort supporting luxury brands that have bothered to open boutiques on the continent. So as soon as I can go to South Africa, I will physically go to the Gucci boutique and hopefully sh like do a video or a vlog in there and pick up some pieces for myself. But even with that, I can probably just order from them. So I might actually give them an email next week and I'll let you know how that goes because I love those crystal earrings. I saw them, I was like, automatically i was like oh my gosh love them love them love them i would absolutely love those um and they're not like ridiculously big i'm kind of over huge earrings now but i i was thinking about this wedding because my brother-in-law is getting married so it's my husband's brother um and i'm really involved in the wedding in terms of like his fiance side so just really quickly in tanzania you um as the woman they're basically multiple like ceremonies that con constitute your wedding you know the sort of typical western white wedding um some of you might have a church wedding some of you might just go to the courthouse some of you might just have a church like a like a, a venue wedding a banquet hall or a stately home whatever but in tanzania it's completely different each tribe has their own culture so me and my husband we're from different tribes so when um i got married we have a dowry ceremony called the posa basically so we had a dowry ceremony for me and then we had uh another like event and every tribe does this called a send-off and that's like when the bride's family literally sends her off and sends her away to the groom and then 
And then the final ceremony, which is organized only by the groom, not the bride, is the actual church wedding where the marriage certificate is signed and where the civil document is also signed. So it will be like a typically in Tanzania. Um, Tanzania is a very religious country. So for Christian um, weddings, it'll be a church ceremony and then a wedding reception. And then for Muslim ceremonies, it'll be the traditional nikah. Um, and then there'll be like a reception for everyone else as well. So, yeah, so I was like, um, you know, I have to be involved with that because his fiance asked me to be involved. So I'm basically for the send off, I'm going to be like her maid of honor. And for the church wedding, I'm going to be like her maid of honor. I've never been anyone's maid of honor before. So, um, yeah, so I've been just been doing so much research on what I need to do. Um, on what I need to dress like, what I need to wear. I'm on a serious diet right now. When I went on holiday, I actually lost weight when I was on holiday, so I was really proud of myself, but I did take my scales with me. <laughs> I actually took them with me. Um, so because I have that wedding and it's coming up in like about seven weeks, um, I wanna just make sure that I look amazing so I feel really confident about the duties that I need to do for her because I'll be involved in her send off, which will be in the village where they're from. And then I'm also gonna be involved in the church wedding and the reception, but my brother-in-law and my husband are gonna be organizing that. So it's really, really busy. I'm, I need to have different outfits, okay? I'm going to be, I have like a wig that I've ordered, but I need to order, I need to order wigs. I need to have costume jewelry. I need to have an outfit. I was looking at this designer. I believe he's from Australia called Paolo Sebastian. I really, really like his dresses. Um, I also saw some Zuhair Murad like Preta Porter um, and it was on sale. I forgot what site I saw that on, but there was like a really beautiful dress from Zuhair Murad. I was like, and it's a Preta Porter dress and it wasn't like ridiculously priced. And for those of you who know, I absolutely love Zuhair Murad. I love his work. So I was also looking at that, but I'm on a crazy diet right now. So I will update you guys at the end of January to tell you how much weight I've lost. The wedding is in February. I really need to lose weight and take this seriously. So I have a lot of luxury shopping things I need to do for the wedding. Um, I also have just things in general, but my life is super busy. So I just wanted to give you guys that update because I think you'll see a lot more of that reflected in my videos for January. I will be talking about like the luxury side of weddings. I'll be sharing more about like the luxury shopping for weddings as well even though it's not my wedding, obviously, but I'm involved. So now with that to the side, I also want to talk about Dior really quickly. Um, I'm not like a Dior super fan at all, but there are pieces from Dior that I like. Um, I really just want to know your opinions. I really don't like the 30 Montaigne. Like, I don't like that bag. I don't like the Bobby. Who are the people who like these bags? Defend your bags in the comments right now. <laughs> and give this video a thumbs up while you're at it. Um, I really don't like those bags. I love the Lady Dior and I really like the saddlebag. Yes, I know people hate the saddlebag, but to me, the saddlebag is way more interesting than the Bobby. The Bobby looks silly to me. Don't shoot me, I'm being serious. Um, I know people hate the saddlebag so much, but I actually kind of like it. I don't like it as much as I like the Lady Dior, but I do actually like the saddlebag. I like that it's like a unique shape, you know? I know people hate it so much. So just super quick here for anyone interested, the mini, the mini saddlebag in grained calfskin is $2,700. The saddlebag itself in grained calf, calfskin as well, but which is a bit, a bit larger, that one's $3,350. And then th these are just like in black. And then there's the, the one that is all over Instagram, the Blue Dior Oblique um, Jacquard Mini Saddlebag. That's also $2,700. And then the sort of standard size one is the same price as the standard size black one, $3,350. Um, I think those prices are pretty ridiculous for a bag which has already come out. Um, and ages ago as well, because the saddlebag is kind of like the baguette in that it had a time when it was like, yeah, everyone's obsessed with this bag. Then it's like, let's passe. And now it's back again. And it's, it's, it's funny to me how much people hate this bag. You know, I know people hate it. And if you don't like it, please tell me why you don't like it. I actually kind of like it. I think the shape is unique and different. I saw someone commented this on another creator's YouTube comment page. They said it looks like a liver. <laughs> I just couldn't stop laughing when I saw that. I was just like, oh my gosh, it looks like a liver. It's hilarious. Um, when it comes to the, 
guys, I, I really need to get my stuff together. I don't know why I'm laughing, but if you think about it, it does kind of look like a liver. Um, when it comes to the um, Dior, My Lady Dior, the me, I think it's this one here. Yeah, My ABC Lady Dior. It comes in lambskin. I think it comes in a variety of different colors. Like the website's color selection is quite limited, but I think this is my favorite one personally. It is the Lady Dior, My ABC Dior. That's the one that can be personalized with your initials. And that price is 4,700. I actually prefer the Dior, um, the Lady Dior in patent leather as opposed to um, as opposed to lambskin. I think it just looks better in the um, patent leather as opposed to the canage lambskin. There's something about it that looks more luxurious, looks more elegant, that also just has that like wow factor, but still very discreet. I feel, I do feel like the Lady Dior is a discreet bag. I mean, even with the Dior, like those letters that are just there and stuff, like it does feel way more discreet than other bags. Um, obviously, the Lady Dior is famous because of Princess um, Princess Diana, the Princess of Wales. This was like her favorite handbag. It debuted in 1995. So it's been part of the House of Christian Dior for a really long time. I think it's such a feminine, elegant bag. I absolutely love this bag. I think it's so cute. The mini ones are adorable as well. Really, really like them. I mean, it is steeply priced, let's be honest. Um, it is steeply priced, let's be honest, but I really, really like it. I don't know why, I just love it. I think it's so feminine and elegant. Honestly, I even feel like you could wear this bag to work for those of you who have corporate jobs. I think you could absolutely wear this bag to work. It's, I think it's discreet enough, particularly if you get it in the matte um, lambskin and this here is called the canage lambskin it doesn't really come across that it's a dual bag unless you have people in your office who know it's a dual bag so I was actually just super interested in that when it comes to the house of Dior I actually Dior's actually one of my favorite labels I think Christian Dior is a designer he, you know obviously an iconic designer who did a lot for fashion but when it comes to Dior right now I love the book tote those mini book totes heart beating hard I'm telling you I love the book tote I also really, obviously, really like the Lady Dior. I like the saddle bag. <laughs> I don't like it in the oblique um, print monogram, but I really like the saddle bag. I think it's just kind of cool to like, I like how it's just, I don't know. I just like that it is what it is. Like it's back and it doesn't care if you don't like it. It is what it is. So anyway, I just thought I would share those things. Those are a few things that I'm looking at at the moment. I have so many things that I'm following up on that I'm super excited about. Um, also, super quickly, thanks for all of you who did my poll. Most of you chose the trendy. My heart is with the Chanel trendy and I, that is what I'm gonna get. I'm not gonna get the classic flag, but I'm gonna stick with the trendy for now because that's where my heart is. So thanks for doing my poll. Anyway, I really enjoyed reading your comments and seeing the poll results as well. So there are just so many cool things to purchase um, from this year. I'm actually so excited about this year from like a shopping point of view. I feel like there's so many fascinating, beautiful products in the market right now, not even just on the luxury end, on the high street end. There's some beautiful, beautiful um, uh, matching sets and coordinates. I was looking at River Island's website, ASOS, as many of you know, is my favorite fast fashion brand. Love that brand. And there are lots of cute pieces on ASOS as well. Um, there are just so many beautiful things. If you guys see more beautiful things, um, make sure that you leave a comment and tell me what you're into as well. I'm genuinely excited about Gucci and Dior at the moment. I was very shocked by how beautiful a lot of the accessories on Gucci's website are. I absolutely love those crystal earrings. I'm thinking about them right now as I'm speaking. And the 70s sunglasses from Gucci. They're just super, super, super stylish. Um, and just finally now, I want to tell you my channel update. So thank you so much to everyone who has been watching my videos in the past two weeks. I'm really grateful for your support. It means the world to me. Um, to you, maybe you're just leaving a comment on a creator's page, but to me, um, it's a validation of the videos that I'm creating. So thank you. Um, yeah, so just make sure you keep stay tuned and you subscribe to my channel and you hit the bell and make sure you like my videos. And I, I tend to do a lot of premiere videos where I'm like around when the video drops. So make sure you set reminders if you see my video floating around in your home feed. So my channel update basically is 
I'm now, because I'm back from this like quick New Year's Eve holiday, I'm actually going on a proper like time off. I'll just be chilling at home for the next like 10 days from work because it's been a really crazy time. I've been very, very busy. And the channel update is that I'm going to be posting a lot more. Um, normally my schedule was like two videos a week in January and during this time off that I have for the next 10, 12 days, I'll be posting more. And um, I hope that you guys can give me your opinions on my videos. I feel like I'm going to be moving towards posting more as opposed to posting less. Cause before I would just do two videos a week. It was like Tuesdays and Thursdays. Um, but I'm actually very energized to make videos at the moment. I am very passionate about making videos at the moment and I'm really enjoying the content I'm creating. And I've told many of you, this isn't what I do for work. This is not my job. This is just something I'm passionate about and I enjoy. The moment it doesn't feel good anymore, I'll stop doing it. But right now I'm having a great time creating these videos, connecting with all of you who love luxury shopping and who love high street shopping as well well so yeah please just make sure you support my videos you subscribe to my channel and yeah just leave me comments if you're inspired or if you like anything we don't always have to agree it's totally okay to post a comment if you don't agree let's just be respectful and keep it cute but i love hearing differing opinions as well so i really hope that you guys enjoy my channel um as january goes on just be aware that because obviously my brother-in-law is getting married i will be posting more like luxury wedding content because obviously i'm going to be involved in that wedding I'll be posting a little bit about like my weight loss journey, but still most of the videos will be about shopping. So anyway, I hope that you guys have enjoyed this video. If you've watched till the end, thank you. I appreciate you. And yeah, make sure you hit the bell, etc. And I'll definitely see you in my next video. It's probably going to be tomorrow because I have some like ideas for a Sunday video. So yeah, thank you for watching my video and I'll see you in my next video.